problem like this, unless, Arthur, you want to come up and do the problem? I don't know. No. Do you still go by Arthur or David? David. David, okay. So, on this one, what we have is the expression a squared divided by 4b plus c. Well, we can't simplify this any further where it's at because we don't know the values of a, b, and c. But on the problem, on the initial description, or uh, problem, they say, all right, well, what about if a equals 12, b equals 9, and c equals 4? Then what would be the um, value of the expression? So the first important thing we want to do is plug in the values for my a, b, and c. So therefore, I have 12 squared divided by 4. And what I'm going to do is when I, whenever I plug them in, I like to put them around parentheses, just so I can remind myself that that's what I plugged in for each value. I don't know why I put the b back in there. That's supposed to be a 9. All right, so do you guys see how I put the 12 in for the a? Right? I substituted in 12 in for a. I substituted in 9 in for b, and then 4 in for c. Now it's like the previous problems that we did. Now we need to use our order of operations. So the first thing we do is apply the grouping symbol. Inside a grouping symbol, we go back through order of operations again. We see that we can apply the squaring method. So I need to square 12, which is 144, divided by 4 times 9. Now, I guess I'll do this step by step. All right, so now, inside this, again, we can just work from left to right. All right, um, 144 divided by 4 is, let's see, we go 40, um, 144 divided by 4. Oh, we have a, oh, hello, you decided to return. Good. Got who you by yourself. OK. Um, so we know that 40 goes into 80 20 times, right? It would go into uh, 20. So it would go into. 120 would be 30 times, and no, 120 would be, yeah, 120 would be 30 times, and then we have 24, so we get 36. Anybody else get 36? No? 36 times 9 plus 4. Now we need to multiply 36 times 9. Yes? Does everybody else get close to those answers? So you could just do 36 times 9 if you don't have a calculator. If you forgot, remember you could just multiply like that. That's 54. 27, that would be a 32. So it would be 324 plus 4, right? So if you don't have a calculator, you could go through something like that. 324 plus 4 would be 328. OK, there you go. And I'll do one more of that number 25 for you. Is that correct? Did I get it on the right track? I did it just in my head. Is that right? Anybody else check my answer?